Welcome to question 2 of the 2017 Mathematical Methods Exam 1 for the Northern Hemisphere. In this video we will be looking at the solution and examination advice for this question. A reminder that this video is in no way endorsed by VCAR. So for part A of this question we're asked to find an antiderivative of cos of 1 subtract x with respect to x. So from the formula sheet we know that the integral of cos of ax dx is equal to 1 divided by a times sine of ax plus c. However, because it says find an antiderivative, we can actually just have our plus c value to be plus 0, so we don't need to write anything down. So therefore, for our integral, we have the antiderivative of cos of 1 subtract x dx and that is going to equal 1 divided by the coefficient of x which is negative 1 and then it's going to be sine and we're still going to have 1 subtract x in the brackets and because it's an antiderivative as we discussed before we can just leave the plus c as being plus 0 so this is simply equal to negative sine of 1 subtract x so that's the answer to part a of this question from the examiner's report we can see that including an arbitrary constant plus c was also considered correct as any value of that constant was correct. For part b we're asked to evaluate the definite integral between 1 and 2 of 3x squared plus 4 over x squared dx. So that means we're asked to evaluate the integral that is 1 to 2. So this is going to be 3x squared plus and this is going to be written as 4x to the power of negative 2 dx and then we calculate the antiderivative so 3x squared we add 1 to the power to get 3x cubed and then dividing by the new power of 3 just gives x cubed and then here we add 1 to the power so we get x to the power of negative 1 so it's going to be minus when we divide by the new power 4 over x and that is going to still be between 1 and 2 Next, we can evaluate that by substituting in the upper bound. So we're going to have 2 substituted in is going to be 2 cubed minus 4 divided by 2. And then we subtract away the antiderivative with 1 substituted in. So we're going to have 1 cubed minus 4 divided by 1. And then we just need to simplify this. So 2 cubed is 8. And we're going to have 8 minus 2 in the first bracket because 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then we subtract away from that. 1 subtract 4 in the second bracket and that just turns into 6 and then it'll be subtract negative 3 so it'll be 6 plus 3 which equals 9. So that is the answer to part B of this question. For part C we want to find f of x given that f of 4 equals 25 and that the derivative f dashed of x has an expression 3 divided by 8x squared minus 10x to the power of negative a half plus 1 where x is greater than 0. So to calculate f of x, we can find that by antideriving f dashed of x. So we're going to find the antiderivative of 3 over 8x squared minus 10x to the power of negative a half plus 1 with respect to x. And then calculating the antiderivative, we need to add 1 to the power of x. So we get x to the power of 3. And then when we divide by 3, we're just going to get 1 over 8 x to the power of 3 and now for this next term we're going to add 1 to the power so we get x to the power of a half and then dividing by a half is actually going to turn this into minus 20 x to the power of a half and then the plus 1 becomes plus x and we also get the c value that we need to add on as an arbitrary constant of integration so that is an expression for f of x and now we need to use the information that when x is 4, f of x is 25. So we're going to substitute 4 in for x and we get 1 on 8 and that's going to be multiplied by 4 cubed and then we get minus 20 and x to the power of a half is the same as the square root of x so we're going to have 20 times the square root of 4 plus 4 plus c and we know that that equals 25. So therefore we have 1 on 8 times 4 cubed 4 cubed is 64 and then dividing that by 8 just gives 8 and then minus 20 times 2 because the square root of 4 is 2 gives minus 40 and then we have plus 4 plus c equals 25 
and solving that for C we get C equals 53. So our final step for this question is to state the full rule of f of x as being equal to 1 divided by 8x cubed minus 20 times the square root of x plus x plus 53. So that is the answer to part C of this question.